cost of groceries is on the rise. It's gone up so much in the last year and I fear that it's probably not done yet. So I've challenged myself, $50. Can I get a week's worth of groceries that's 21 meals for only $50 in my local grocery stores? Come along with me and I'll show you what I've cooked, how I've done it, and how much everything costs. I did want to start this video out by letting you know that I went to Aldi and I went to Walmart and I also picked up a couple of loss leaders at my local grocery store. This $50 plan's intent was to feed my family of four for $50 for the week. If you are a single person or a small family or a family with children, you might be able to stretch this $50 up to a month's worth of meals if you don't mind eating the basic same things that we got. It's very important that you utilize the things that you have in your pantry already. I'm going to throw the prices up for the bratwurst and the can of peas, both from Aldi a couple of cans of tuna, and a cream of chicken soup, a can of cream corn, some sauce, and a thing of sour cream. Now the chicken was $10.74, but cheaper than a whole chicken. Some frozen veggies, one of the mixes for a dollar, that's going to be the pumpkin muffins and brownies because everybody loves a little chocolate. Another mixed vegetable for the soup. My good deal on a full pound of bacon and my good deal for eggs. A package of ground beef also on sale. A package of hash browns for the casserole. Some elbow macaroni. That's two pounds. I also got some spaghetti, but I took that off of my list because I did not need the spaghetti. I don't know what I was thinking. An envelope of rice as a side dish. So here's what the menu looks like for this week. For breakfast and lunch, I got the eggs and the bacon. We normally have eggs and bacon for breakfast. It's just our thing. We have some English muffins. If my husband wants some English muffins, there's also things like oatmeal, cereal, those things in the house. For lunch, I have a lot of chicken to cook up and there's probably going to be enough for some chicken salad sandwiches or there's gonna be lots of leftovers. There's always lots of leftovers. I have a chicken and broccoli casserole. Now I have enough stuff to make a nine by 12 pan of chicken and broccoli casserole. However, I'm gonna cut them up and make two smaller ones. I'll probably put one in the freezer for the end of the week. That way I can keep it. It'll last longer in the freezer and it'll be a little bit more fresh. I've got the ground beef browning right now. The package of ground beef that I got was about two and a half pounds, which is nice because it'll give me enough for sloppy joes and chili and maybe even some goulash if I find that I have a little bit more. I got brats, so we're having some bratwurst and some corn and probably some macaroni salad. Macaroni salad, I have enough pasta in the two pounds of pasta that I got for macaroni salad and for goulash if I need it, also for chicken noodle soup. The chicken and broccoli casserole is made with potatoes and cream of chicken soup and chicken and broccoli, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of sour cream, which I already have in my fridge. I'm gonna make some chili. I'm gonna make some homemade bread to go with that chili. And then egg, bake, and corn. Because I got such a good deal on that, those eggs earlier, and I've got plenty of bacon, I'm going to utilize those and make an egg bake, but I'll probably do that later in the week. One of the keys to doing this and only spending $50 a week is to make sure that you utilize what you already have on hand in your pantry. A perfect example, I'm making chili this week because I have the, the ground beef was on sale, I have the beans, and I have the sauce already. So that's going to make the chili a little bit easier to make because I already have the things on hand. As far as the muffins go, I already had the pumpkin on hand as well. I have a lot of these bits and pieces on hand in order to stretch this $50. Always shop from your pantry first. Make your meal plan from your pantry first. 
and then fill in all of the holes with your budget. I bought a cake mix for 97 cents. It was on sale. I actually did the math on this and the recipe that I have for pumpkin muffins looks like this. You can freeze this and screenshot it if you want to save it. Flour at $2.43 for a five pound bag is 27 cents for the two cups that you need. Half a cup of butter melted is $3.98 a pound or a dollar per stick. The half a cup of sugar is only 18 cents a cup. The half a cup of brown sugar is 30 cents. And the two eggs, considering that I spent $1.89 for 18, would be 20 cents for two eggs. This works really well for you if you have most of this stuff on hand already. Not taking into consideration the prices of the baking soda, cinnamon, salt, milk that's on here, it actually ends up being $1.97 for all of these things on this list. This is going to save me time and maybe a little bit of money if I had to go purchase all of this stuff. And because I wanna save a little bit of time, I already have the pumpkin on hand. I don't need to buy it. I'm gonna go with this for my muffins. I'm also going to batch cook a bunch of stuff today. Because I'm not a huge fan of cooking every single day, I'm going to batch cook the two casseroles. I'm going to batch cook the chicken and ground beef today for the chicken noodle soup, the sloppy joes, the goulash, and the chili, and the barbecue chicken on a bun, and have them ready for this week. I'll probably throw one of the small casseroles in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. We can have that at the end of the week. These muffins are gonna be fantastic for breakfast or snacks, but I also, for a dollar, got a box of brownie mix. And I already have the oil, the water, and the eggs on hand, so might as well make these for desserts and snacks. This was included in the $50 budget. I got this huge package of boneless chicken breasts that I got for $10.74. It was actually cheaper than buying a whole chicken, which was kind of my goal. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six boneless chicken breasts that I'm gonna be able to use for chicken noodle soup, chicken broccoli casserole, some chicken salad sandwiches, and barbecue chicken sandwiches. That's four different meals out of six chicken breasts. That's cheaper than buying a whole chicken. Who knew? Quick tip, when you're making brownies and you're doing it before your kids get out of bed, you get to lick the spatula. Mm. Honestly, this is two I got 18 muffins. Look at how cute they are. So cute, 18 muffins out of a cake mix and a can of pumpkin. Works for me. Six chicken breasts yielded me about six cups of shredded chicken. That's pretty good. That is definitely more chicken than I would have gotten off of a whole chicken. And I cooked the chicken breasts in the Instant Pot with a little bit of chicken bouillon to give me a broth for the chicken soup. Okay, here's what I got going on here in my broccoli, chicken broccoli casserole. I've got a bag of hash brown potatoes. I've got two cups of chicken, some uh, a couple handfuls of shredded cheese, some seasonings. I put in rotisserie chicken, 21 seasoning salute. It's going into these two casserole dishes and I'm gonna top it with some cheese. This way we'll have two meals one will go in the freezer and one will eat probably tonight. So I decided to skip the goulash because with the two chicken and broccoli casseroles, the soup, there's a lot of soup. We could totally have that twice. Sloppy Joe's, the brats, the chili, and the egg bake in the bar chicken uh, salad sandwiches and the macaroni salad. There's a lot of food going on here. So I don't think I need it. So I've actually just thrown this in a zipper bag. It's a lot of pasta. And I'm gonna throw it right in the freezer and then we can have it like next week. Here's dinner tonight. Here is the chicken and broccoli casserole. Okay, so here is the chicken flavored rice with some bratwurst that's kind of grilled a little more than I would like, but I'm going to eat it anyway because, well, <laughs> I'm not throwing it away. And cream corn. Here's dinner tonight. Perfect for those chilly late fall evenings. This is this is so good. This is probably one of my favorite things to make. Here's what's for dinner tonight. A little sloppy joe with a little extra barbecue sauce on it. And some macaroni salad. And here is the egg bake bubbling still. Just came out of the oven. It's eggs and cheese and a little milk to make it a little fluffier. And I also had 
a couple of slices of bacon left and some pepperoni. So I threw that in with some mozzarella cheese because that's all the cheese that I have left for the week. And here is the chili. I like to add a little sour cream, a little of the cheese I bought. Oh, delicious. I'm super excited that I was able to get all of these groceries and make all of these meals for about $50. I'm even more excited that I don't have to cook very much in the coming week because all of these foods are already done. If you want to share your com in the comments below how you do on saving money at the grocery store, I would love for you to do that. In this community, it's so nice when we can all share our favorite grocery tips. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I truly appreciate you and have a great day. Bye-bye.